Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Kim Schofield, and this is Inspiration Tuesdays. Today, it is my pleasure to welcome Jeffrey Mavoya from Nairobi, Kenya. Jeffrey is a renowned youth activist, advocate for girls' education in Kenya, climate change, and many other things. Jeffrey, what else would you like our viewers to know about you? Uh, it's really a fantastic day and time to really join Inspiration on Tuesday. My name is uh, Geoffrey Boyer. I'm a youth advocate and uh, climate activist and also a sustainability uh, accelerator from Nairobi, Kenya. And uh, my biggest in inspiration came uh, when I was 14 years old and I attended a demonstration and I really saw how people uh, could really come together and really push for reforms and get uh, the government or the policy makers uh, to push uh, for their reforms. And so I really uh, got engaged at a very young age and also coming from an urban slum in Africa, it really uh, pushed me to start uh, championing uh, for the people's right here because we have little engagement and we are not uh, having uh, a conversation at these tables. And so this is what really got me uh, started. Was there anyone specifically, any one person that specifically encouraged you to take leadership role in activism? I think I was inspired by Boniface Mwangi. He's a very uh, popular and uh, known activist in Kenya and even beyond. He's a man who chose to really uh, uh, give people power and uh, start uh, pushing for uh, reforms for people, especially from marginalized communities. And so when I attended uh, Power 254, where I first met him, and I saw how he had mobilized youths uh, from different parts of Nairobi and through organizations. And so they worked together uh, uh, through hosting community dialogues where people come together and they talk about issues affecting them and also come up with working solutions. And so this really uh, inspired me uh, to get started. So I really thank uh, Boniface Mwangi for that opportunity. So Jeffrey, what is involved in being an activist? How do you get people to hear you and convince them about your cause? How do you do that? So what I basically do is um, I try to work with uh, communities across uh, Nairobi. I visit, uh, I majorly work with uh, urban slums across the city and also uh, beyond uh, Nairobi. So I try to go to Kibera, uh, Makuru, uh, Matare, and also Dandora, where I work with other uh, fellow youth advocates and together we uh, advance the sustainable development goals because in 2015, I realized that uh, even as the world leaders gathered uh, in New York uh, to um, set a new path uh, for development across uh, the entire globe, we had few representation of uh, people from uh, urban slum settings. And uh, we are all aware that uh, this population is about 1 billion and uh, we, we're not really represented. And so I took uh, this step to further and promote uh, the SDGs in local. So what we do is localization of these uh, global goals. And so we work with the communities and they give us uh, their views of what problems that are present in their neighborhood. And so together we come up with solutions and we connect them with resources 
And so uh, that is basically what I do. And also uh, we have uh, documentaries, we have sessions online where we amplify uh, the voices of uh, these people. And so I use my Facebook page uh, to reach out to people. We also do in-person events where we invite uh, the members of the community to articulate uh, their issues. What cause are you the most passionate about? Uh-huh. Could you come up again? Sure. What cause are you most passionate about, whether it's climate change, sustainability, uh, girls' education? So, Nairobi uh, City, and you look at the informal settlements, we have uh, six uh, uh, largest informal settlement in Nairobi, and this includes uh, Kibera, uh, Mukuru, Madari, and Dandora. And if you go to these places, you find uh, poverty is really uh, present and uh, people have issues uh, with access to water and sanitation. And uh, you find women uh, being um, underrepresented. They don't get equal opportunities uh, compared to their uh, male counterparts. So what we try to do is uh, we work with, because we understand that uh, different com communities have their own unique problems. So we cannot uh, assume or perceive these communities to be facing certain issues. So what we try to is get the people's views. For example, in my community, which is Mokoro, I have lived here for uh, 20 uh, years. And so I understand the biggest challenge we have is uh, access to electricity, access to clean water and sanitation. We also have uh, issues uh, issues with uh, housing. And so these are some of uh, the permanent issues in my communities. And what I try to do is uh, reach out to people who are working towards uh, addressing those issues and together we come up with a framework and we come up with a program to see that we address uh, those issues. And uh, if, uh, if organization could really invest and work with uh, local people, you could see uh, a big impact. I'll tell you for sure, uh, Lisa, that uh, if you go to Kibera, Kibera is one of the largest uh, informal segments in Africa and even across the world. And if you go to Kibera today, you'll find a huge presence of international and NGOs and governments and even CBOs working towards uh, development. But the biggest issue is that they fail to involve and engage uh, the communities and uh, processes of uh, coming up with solutions. And so people, they don't see the impact. People want to be engaged. People want their voices on matters concerning them. And so if you leave these people and you try to work for the development without them, then it is not even taking uh, stock of inclusion and uh, diversity. And so we will continue seeing uh, people living in abject poverty. And so that is what uh, I really want to address and uh, I want to push for. You recently posted on LinkedIn that in the 21st century, I think the heroes will be the people who will improve the quality of life, fight poverty, and introduce more sustainability. I think you are well on your way to hero status. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure.